What's up, my bomb ass subscriber squad? Ew. Oh, y'all see that? What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back. I am Tanya Nicole, and welcome to the Tanya Nicole experience. <laughs> Guys, today we're going to be doing, y'all can see from this plain face of just brows, we got our BoxyCharm regular box, and we're going to be doing a try-on with the products in this box as well as the products from our BoxyCharm Premium, which that video went up on Wednesday. So if you have not checked it out, I will put the link down below. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Today, we're just unboxing our regular box and doing a try-on portion. I think I'm gonna just do it as we go um, because I like that better to include things while I'm going through the motions. Let me know in the comments below if you guys prefer an unboxing first and then a try-on or a try-on as we go. Let me know, guys, so I could, you know, start doing videos like that. So, yes, boo, if y'all want to see what's inside of our January 2020 BoxyCharm base box, please keep watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing this weekend. Okay, my bomb ass subscriber squad. How y'all doing? What y'all doing? How y'all been? I'm not doing too good, y'all. Today I woke up and I was just bloated and crampy. I am just too old for this shit, y'all. But I don't want to go through menopause yet, right? No. But I'm just saying, y'all, ugh, I'm just so over these menstrual cycles and these cramps. So I'm not really in like the most cheerful mood today, but you know we got to do what we do because Tanya Nicole don't, I ain't got time for all that cramping and whining shit. Let's get that out the way. You know what'll make me feel better though? A dance break and a drink break. <laughs> today is Friday. I am working this weekend, so I will be responding to your comments while I'm at work. I had to pre-record a few videos because I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so I won't have time to, so we're doing a lot of videos these next two days I'm off. So if y'all see the same shirt or the same makeup, just know what it is, okay? All right, cool. So guys, today we have our January BoxyCharm base box, and we're going to unbox it, do a try on, and I'm going to give y'all some thoughts on BoxyCharm because I don't know, based on the contents in this box, I know BoxyCharm not looking at my profile at all, at all. So uh, let's get on into the specs of this box, unbox it and try on, and y'all know the rest. Cool? Cool. For you guys that do not know, BoxyCharm is a $25 per month beauty subscription, including free shipping. You get five full-size beauty products each month, and the value is supposed to be around, I don't know if it's $175 to $200. I'll put it down below, guys. They do let you select one item each month. Also, if you want to subscribe, my link is down below. Go ahead on and click it, look around, see what you want to do. So, guys, without further ado, let's get on to this BoxyCharm unboxing and try on. Okay, so y'all know that it comes in this little bitty box like this. And we're going to open her up. Ooh. And just so y'all wondering why I got this black shirt on with the turtle. Y'all know I always wear black. But since we're going to be doing that dark Natasha Denona shadow, I want to get into full goth glam. Like, really. Now, my, my premium box was actually pretty decent. And um, I could tell from the products in the base box. Mm. Let's move along. So it does come with a card each month, guys. And the theme for the month is Breaking the Ice. And I do have variation number 22 right there. So first things first, we have to dig into our premium box to grab our Forsali Primer Radiance thing. So we're going to first apply this Forsali Liquid Glass Radiance Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. We're gonna apply that to our face first because it's like a primer too, they say. So we will see. Y'all know I love this, it's very pretty. Let's see, oh, drop a little bit. Um, brows are already done, guys. And you make sure I don't get them messed up. Um, first impressions on this is Comes out very watery, but it does dry down very quickly. Well, it is a little tacky feeling on the skin. I think I'm gonna have to go in with my pore primer here, but it does feel nice on the skin. It is a little bit tacky. Uh, y'all see some kind of glow? Do y'all see like a 
liquid glass glue. Let me know. But the Frisali does feel nice. I will have to use it a little more before I give like my final thoughts on it, but I will keep you guys updated probably on my Instagram as to how it made my foundation look um, all day wearing it, okay? I'm gonna go off camera really quick. I'm gonna do my base, put my foundation on, my bronzer and stuff, and I'm gonna come back, okay guys? I'll see you guys in a minute. So guys, I'm back. The base is done. So we're gonna pull this product out first, and this is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer, and this is the shade that they sent to me. Now, I was gonna use this in today's video, but BoxyCharm did send me an email some days ago telling me that they did choose the wrong color. Well, they did send me the wrong color, and um, this, you know, this is what makes me believe that they're not fully looking at the profiles um, or what people choose because they actually did send me the packet, the, the sample packet of the concealers, and I did choose the right one. I don't even remember what it was, but, I mean, how y'all could send me, like, look at this and look at me. Like, boo, y'all want me to be, like, casket dead. Like, what, what am I going to do with this? So this kind of makes me mad. They did say they was going to send me a replacement item, but... This just makes me upset. Like, bad enough with their Becca foundations. I was super um, excited about that. And when it comes time to pick my shade, they only have like, like three real deep shades. Really? Like, Becca has 44 shades of foundation. And they only have three dark shades. And I need, I think, the shade Coconut. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, that's another whole subject. But this right here is just too light for me, so I cannot use it. Let's see what this baby retails for. And this, guys, is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer, and it retails for $25. So up next, we're going to do the two skincare products that they sent to me. Up first would be the Avant Shea Butter Rice Brain uh, eight hour sleeping mask. This is what the bottle looks like, guys. It is a really small bottle. You get 1.69 fluid ounces of product in here, and it's not even full. We maybe get this much product in here, that much right there. So, hmm. and I think they sent me this in my premium box last month, and I just put that, I don't, y'all, I like, they asked me, and I put, I like makeup, I don't, let's see what this is about. So it says, apply a thin layer to clean dry skin, allow to absorb into the skin and it's no need to wash it off. And let's see what this retails for guys. And this is the Avant Skincare 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. And this retails for $107. I don't know, I may use this. I don't know what I'm really gonna do with this. But I would never repurchase anything from Avant or Avance, whatever it's called, because it's just so inflated, the price. It's just ridiculous. $107, and you don't even get a full bottle. Next up, from Skin & Co., this Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Facial Gommage, or, yeah, Gommage. And you get 150 milliliters of product. This is what the bottle looks like, guys. I'm sure you've seen this on 100 people's things already. And um, this one is pretty full. Let's see what it says on the back. Black truffle extract. It has apricot seed powder, sweet almond extract, squalene oil, which I do like. And um, apply a liberal amount of the truffle therapy face gamage over face and neck. Massage gently with a circular motion for one or two minutes avoiding your eyes remove with a damp lukewarm face towel and pad dry use up to two to three times per week and this is an exfoliant guys let's see how much this retails for and this is the skin and co roma truffle therapy face gommage and it retails for 28 dollars and i will probably be putting this in a giveaway up next guys we have the product that i did choose and it is a palette. I love saying that. And it is the Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn Palette. And that's what the outside packaging is looking like, guys. And this is what it looks like outside of the package, guys. It does come with the mirror. Hey, boo. And this is the palette right here. 
This is a very pretty palette. The colors are gorgeous. Some of the names are Gleam, Horizon, Pyramid, Sky. So yeah, we're gonna use this in today's look. Let's see what this retails for first before we go into it. And this, guys, is the Ace Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. It's a 12 shadow palette, and it retails for and it retails for $34.99. And I'm gonna let you guys know for lashes today, I'm gonna be doing a Jackie Love Maddie 2.0 lashes here. And we're also gonna be using the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Eyeshadow that I got in my premium box for this look. So let me go get my lashes ready. I'll be right back and we'll do this eye look. Okay, I'm back guys. And we're gonna get into this beautiful palette here. We're gonna first start with this shade right there, which is Pyramid, and we're gonna use that as our all over transition color. I'm just gonna take my Morphe 505 brush, and we're just gonna dip right on into Pyramid like that. And we're gonna put it on all over the eye. I did forget to do my shout outs guys this in the beginning of the video, but I will put it um, towards the end. I'm so sorry guys. I was just so focused on doing this try on portion, I, I apologize. But I will put my shout outs to my five first commenters at the end of the video, so make sure you check that out. So first impressions of this first shade is, I think it went on really nice. Uh, it blended out nicely, it is pigmented, so that's good. Um, this is the shade here that we used, Pyramid. Let me make sure you get close so you guys can see that one right there. So now we're going to go in. I, I, I don't really know. I'm going to tell you all right now, I don't have a look in mind. I really don't. I kind of want to dip into Face and Cactus and Sky. So Sky, Cactus, and Face. I want to dip into so we're gonna go into face let's just deepen it up a little bit with face and then we're gonna go into that beautiful beautiful blue color I'm gonna keep in with the same brush and this is just making it a little darker just a little bit darker but this is very pretty it does blend out nicely guys it really 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 does I'm just trying to decide on what I want to do. Because y'all know I'm not like super duper uh, complicated when it comes to eye looks. I'm very simple. Two, three colors. That's it. Okay, so that's the darker brown shade blended out into the crease. It looks okay. So now I'm thinking we're going to go in with Sky. Which y'all think are Cactus. Ooh, which one? I really want to see how both of them work. Now, y'all don't come for me in them comments if they look a hot mess. No. Let me just swatch them both. That's how they look on my fingers, guys. That's them swatched out on my hand. We're going to go We're gonna go in with this green shade first. And if I don't like it, then I'll go over with the, the blue. I don't know how I'm feeling about cactus, guys. Let's see. Let's get it all blended out first and see. What y'all think? I mean, now this one is actually a really pretty color. We could just take the navy and go underneath our eyes with it. We're going to do the cactus color on the top. And these are um, matte shades. So I think I'm missing the shimmer part of it. I don't think it's the palette. I think it's me missing that shimmery part. Or I think I need something in the middle to kind of break it up a little bit, which I might just go and do. Let's pack this on. First, and we could take that blue and probably go on the edge of it, huh? Yeah, I think we could do that. So let's just try and make it work because I had no plan in mind. None. But it is buildable. This color is very pretty and pigmented. It's just that I'm not used to this kind of, I don't know. That's how it looks with the green with cactus on it. And we're going to take Sky now, this dark blue. And I'm going to go right into the outside corner of it with the same brush I was using earlier. Just to kind of blend those um, shadows together. Now I think this is why I made it a hot mess right here. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like this, y'all. I don't like it. I don't like it. Now, this is not the palette's fault. This is the operator's fault. I don't really like it. <laughs> The blue is not really showing up as dark as I thought it would. I'm trying to pack it, but, ooh, girl, I think I just messed this up. Girl, a hot mess. I won't even lie. I think I tried to uh, achieve too much today. I just wanted to use most of the colors, and now it's looking like, girl, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I really don't, but that's okay. Good thing we're not going nowhere, huh? Girl, y'all see that? A hot mess. A hot mess. So we're gonna take now, oh girl, I'm gonna just stop right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on so I can put my lashes on. I'm gonna do that real quick off camera, then we're gonna come and finish up the bottom and we're gonna be done with this, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead on and applied my lashes. I didn't do anything else to the eyes yet, guys. And I tell you, lashes really saves the day. Like, y'all, they just really, I mean, they save your eye look. But I did go on my lash line with this Haas Cosmetics uh, liner here. So what I'm going to do now is go into my Natasha Denona Black is Black Matte Eyeshadow. I'm going to take this shadow here. And I'm going to go briefly over the line, over my lash line and underneath to kind of give me a smoky type look. I'm just going to tap it right into that black like that and just go right on top. Uh, I should have did this before I put the lashes on, but that's okay. Just take it right on top of that liner. And then we're gonna add a little bit to the bottom lash. Ooh. Wow, you see how dark that looks? Ooh, look how dark. Beautiful. Just gonna take this little brush here, this dough color one. I'm gonna dip into that blue shade sky. Let me just gonna smoke out that bottom. Oh. Yes. Oh my God. Girl. Now this is my type of look. I don't know what happened under here, but this is my type of look. This thing here is so black. Girl, look at that. So now we're gonna hit the inner corner with a little bit of shimmer. And I think we're gonna go into do here. Just gonna take a little pointed brush. It's pretty, that's pretty. Oh, okay, I like this palette, and I like this right here. Okay, that's pretty. These two are good. And um, let me throw a little mascara on my bottom lids, and then we're gonna move on along to the last product. Okay, guys, so our final product in the box is from Queen. What is, let me see what this says. Hold on, let me find my little cord. And I did tell you guys that this palette retails for $34.99, and next up is this product here, uh, Queen, I don't, Veen, Studio Liquid Matte Lipstick Stain. It's a liquid lip stain, and it's supposed to be a matte lip stain, extremely pigmented, give you a matte finish with one coat. It's 12-hour performance, and I have the shade Thick Skin, this one here, and let's see what it looks like. And this is what the packaging looks like. I heard someone say it looks like the Kali Cosmetics. I'm gonna go with a brown liner. Let's try thick skin. Okay, it's not bad. Y'all can see it? Not bad. It's not 
bad. It doesn't, it doesn't actually clash with my look at all. And I actually really kind of like it. So, okay, this is a this is a good one. And let's see what this retails for, guys. And this is the Queen or Veen Studio Matte Liquid Lip Stain. And it retails for $17, guys. And this is our final product, guys. What y'all think about the eyes and the mouth? Okay, so let's do a quick recap. We're going to do final thoughts. We're going to rate the box and be done. I apologize if it went on for a long time, but I just am feeling these lashes, boo, low. So we got from Ace Beauty, this Vintage Dawn palette here. From Queen, this Liquid Lip Stain here. From Avant, this Shea Butter Rich uh, 8 Hour Sleep Mask here. From Skin & Co, this Face Gommage here. And from Pretty Vulgar, this concealer that's going to have me looking casket dead or dead, dead, whatever. So that is two, four, five products for this month, guys. Final thoughts on this box is for this box being $25 a month, they give you a beauty quiz. They allow you to pick a product. I just don't know. I don't think BoxyCharm is going off of my my profile at all i don't think they're being careful with products that they put in previous boxes like the month before or if you get a base box and a premium box i mean they put in similar products in it that's the issue i had last month this month i mean i just got this i just got a product like this and putting a 107 dollars price tag on it just does not impress me at all because i would never purchase anything from this brand because it's too expensive. I'm gonna give the face exfoliator in a giveaway. I'm also gonna put the Pretty Vulgar Concealer in a giveaway. I am gonna try this out, but I will not repurchase it. So I really didn't like these three products right here. And I don't know if, you know, 2019 was the year of skincare. I hope 2020 they come in with more makeup because I have enough skincare to last me at least 10 years, like really. But I do, do, do like this Ace Beauty palette, the colors that I did use blended out beautifully. This lipstick looked, it looks nice on my lips. This, oh girl, this right here. This right here is, oh girl, it's so good. I got this in a premium box, but I use it today and I love it. I mean, first impressions, these, oh girl. And the Frisali product, it went on really nice. It dried down quickly. I will let you guys know how it worked under my foundation today. I'll update you on Instagram. The two products that I did use and like out of this box, I like them. The rest of them, BoxyCharm is just gonna have to do better. Maybe they should just stick with the base box and the Luxe box because since they added the premium, it's kind of becoming like Ipsy where, you know, they just, it's too much for them, I think, to handle. So they just throwing stuff in your box and giving you a high price and, and, you know, hoping the consumer will say, well, it's worth $107, but if I'm not using it, what is it worth to me? And if I'm putting it on my profile that I don't want it, what, what good is it to me? Someone may love this box, but I mean, I think if you're asking people specifically to take their time and do a profile, a beauty quiz, and all of that, that you should at least give them the courtesy of following it. And that's all I have to say about that. So if I had to rate this box on a scale of one being this box is garbage, throw it to the damn dumpster! To five being this box is the bomb.com, boo, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to give BoxyCharm for this month a solid... 2.5 because um, I'm just not impressed with this and they sent me the wrong shade. I don't I mean, I, I don't know. I'm But I'm going to give them a 2.5. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of my box that I got and my products. Let me know how what you think about this look that I created using it. I am actually kind of loving it. I love the lip. I love the eye. I mean, I, I'm really kind of feeling that. This Natasha Denona. Ooh, I, ooh. Girl. But let me know down below your thoughts on BoxyCharm and what you think so far about them adding a premium box. Do you think, you know, the premium box is 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 okay? It can stay. Do you think they should just focus on the BoxyCharm base box and the Lux box or what? Out of the premium box and the base box for me this month, the premium box definitely won hands down. I do want to say that I am loving these Jackie Love lashes, but that's all that I have, guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you have not done so, subscribe to your girl. Become a part of this bomb as subscriber squad family. I want to give a shout out to my first five commenters from Wednesday's video. I'm going to put y'all name right here. I'm so sorry that it slipped my mind during the beginning 
of the video, but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for commenting on, for being my first five commenters on my video. I appreciate you guys very much. Um, don't forget about our giveaway that we have going on. The winner will be announced on Monday. Please make sure that you go to the Boxy Premium description and read the giveaway rules. And that's all that I have, my loves. I will see you guys on Monday. I'm going to go quickly film Glitz Glam Box. I'm going to have the same look. I might take the ears off, but it's going to be the same makeup, same shirt. So if y'all see it, y'all know what it is. And that's all that I have, guys. So until next time in next video, I hope you guys enjoyed this try on and unboxing. I love you all so much. Cheers, guys. Bye.